What's up, guys? It's almost fucking 4 in the morning. It's 3.55 a.m. Fucking wide awake. Can't sleep. Wanted to do a review. Not a review, but a video. So I'm like, wait the fuck now. Um, I am going to show you guys my entire CD collection. Um, I don't know exactly how many CDs I have, but most of them are rap CDs. Um, most, um, if you guys saw my... Eminem CD collection. Most of it's Eminem, but I have Arthur artists I never really did talk about. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys about all the CDs I have. All these stacks of CDs right here. As I said, most of them are Eminem, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let me get started. First CD I have here, Love Story, Yellow Wolf. Of course, have to have this one. Um, just a quick update. Now I don't buy a lot of CDs. Most of the shit I get is on iTunes. But when I hear one of my favorite rappers is coming out with a new CD, I usually go out and get it. So that's really the only time I actually buy CDs, like physical copies. But other than that, I usually buy it on iTunes. But yeah, usually. So yeah, I don't really buy too many CDs now. But I used to, but not today. Now it's like rare for me to actually buy CDs. Um, unless, of course, if my favorite rapper or artist is coming out with a new CD, then other than that, I'll buy it. I'll buy a physical copy. But yeah, um, Love Story, Yellow Wolf. Next one, Tech Nine Collabos. Um, most of these you'll probably see again since most, as I said, most of them are Eminem's. CD, so you'll probably see them again if you watch my Eminem collection, but like CD collection, but whatever. Um, Tech Nine collabo, uh, Psychology 101, amazing, amazing uh, collabo album he did. My favorite one next to Strange Relation. So, um, but there's a couple more I want to get. Um, I the ones I really want to get are um, Welcome to Strange Land and Misery Loves Company. So I'm hoping to buy those two soon and review them but most of these I already did reviews on so yeah so go check my channel out for those next one shady xv um it's basically new music from shady records from like yellow wolf Slaughter, slaughterhouse bad meets evil uh, eminem and also another disc with like the classic stuff like 50 cent i get money you know in the club was in the club in on this one yeah, it was track number 13, but yeah, that's Shady XV. Next one, Eminem Reup. Um, this was another Shady uh, track thing that he did that he released like nine years ago. I can't believe it's been almost 10 years, but this was another one he did that where he wanted to release music from new artists. Like this was back when he still had like um. Obi Trison, Shady Records, I believe, um, I believe Obi Tri, yeah, Obi Tri, Sacquo, Bobby Creek, Water, Cassius, you know, people like that, but, yeah, that's Reup, Tech 9, Special Effects, um, most of these, I, th I really like it when Tech 9 does this type of stuff, I know, like, these type of, like, CD formats instead of, like, the regular formats, but, I know he did that with like uh, I think KOD and oh so they're all sixes and sevens I believe not sure but whatever um the, so yeah that's special effects encore by Eminem pretty decent album not his best but still a pretty decent album another Eminem album um. What was it? Uh, relapse. It has this um, in Polish. Uh, if you you guys can't see this, but I got this like six years ago when I went to Poland. So that's why it says that on there. But that's relapse. Ritz next to nothing. Um, you know, love Ritz. I've been following him since our uh, life and times of jo uh, Johnny Valiant. So can't wait for him to put out new music. Uh. Yeah, 
definitely would recommend Ritz. He's an amazing strange music artist next to like Prozac and Tech Nine and Chris Calico, no rappers like that. But that's next to nothing. Eminem, Marshall Mathers LP, classic hip hop rap album from the early 2000s to the turn of the century, but amazing album, amazing. Next one, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Rain. Had this, as you can see, it's fucking cracked. Had, like, I literally beat the shit out of this album. Um, now whenever I try to put it on I, my iTunes, uh, for some reason my it gets fucked up. But yeah, that's Ozzy Osbourne, Black Rain. Haven't listened to music on here for years. Don't even know how long, but I don't even fucking know. It's I've had this since it came out in like 2007, I think. Um, usually I keep my CDs and like try to keep them in perfect shape. Uh, but yeah, this one I I I guess I didn't care for it that much. But now I regret not taking care of it. But so I might have to get a new copy of it though. I don't know. Uh, Bad Meets Evil, Health the Sequel. Most of these CDs are rap albums too. I mean, I still have a couple other albums that are not rap, but it's mainly all rap music. So I wanted to call this my entire rap collection, but like CD collection, but I still have a few CDs that aren't rap, so that's why I call this my CD collection. But yeah, Bad Meets Evil, Health the Sequel. Great album. I hope they do another one. Literally, if if they, I'd be happy if they just release one more. Um, I don't care if they put out, you know, if they say that oh, uh, this is the only one we're gonna put out. I don't care. At least we, if we got one more, I'd be happy. You know, I know they they did songs on um, on like the soundtrack for Southpaw and Shady XV, but I want an like an album, like a full length album, LP, EP. I don't care as I'll be happy with either one but, but I mean I'm still happy that they're putting out music from Bat Meets Evil but I I'd want a full length album uh, Tech 9 something else got a, a little bit of a crack on there but whatever still in pretty good shape I uh, I did an unboxing on this um, when it first came out two years ago I remember getting it the day of when it was released and I remember doing an, an unboxing on it and the video was one that was one of my most viewed videos it got like over so far it's got like over 700 views which is awesome so yeah amazing tech 9 album and my favorite one next to uh, special effects I'm still debating on which one's better special effects or uh, something else but yeah slim shady LP um, I don't think I ever talk about why this has a, a crack. That's because uh, a few years back, I let one of my friends borrow it, and when he gave, gave it back to me, I put it in my backpack, and I just threw it in, you know, and it kind of got cracked back up there, but yeah, sp still another great classic Eminem album. Recovery. Not much you say about it, but it's still a pretty good album. A lot of people bash it for not being like the usual Eminem album, but I, I, I still liked it. Relapse Refill. I know that a lot of you guys would have been saying, are saying, oh, hey, you know, I you Relapse and Refill are the same thing. Why not just get one of, or the other? Well, I got this one long after... Uh, well, if you knew Eminem, you know that he released this one December of 2009. He released Relapse of May of 2009. So, yeah. If there was a big difference between those two, when he released those two, but I still got them both. Uh, Prozac, We All Fall Down. Pretty good Prozac album. I, one of my all-time favorite ones from him is Paranormal. Paranormal. Uh, but this one's still a pretty good album. Fifty Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying, amazing rap album. One of my all-time favorite rap albums. Ritz, Life and Times of Johnny Valiant. Um, and one of this is the album that got me into Ritz's music. I've heard a few of his other songs before, like Bloody Murder and. Uh, white Jesus and this is one and those are the songs that made me want to listen to more of Ritz's music but 
Yeah. D12, Devil's Night. Amazing album. Amazing D12 album. Uh, the last one that Proof did with D12 before he passed away. So, yeah. R.I.P. Proof. Um, this copy I didn't actually show in my... This actually I didn't show in my... Um, Eminem CD collection, but I actually have two, two copies of Eminem show the Explete version and the clean version. The reason I got the clean version is because one of my friends he knew I was a big Eminem fan and uh, he got me this one for Christmas, uh, you know, just like a random gift. You know, he was at Walmart and he got this and he's like, Oh, hey, here's Eminem show. I'm like, Oh, thanks, this is clean version. And he's like, Oh, shit, it is. And I'm like, Well, oh, it's fine. Now I have two copies of it. Besides, it's one of my all-time favorite Eminem albums, anyways. So, uh, Marilyn Manson, The Golden Age of Grotesque. Uh, yes, I do listen to Marilyn Manson. No, I have not reviewed any of his albums yet. Plan, I'm hoping on it, but not. In, I don't see it in the near future. I just like listening to his music. You know, I'm. So I mean, I'm not a big, big fan, but I, I still really do enjoy his music. <laughs> Eminem, or not Eminem, uh, 50 Cent, uh, Before I Self-Destruct. Re I actually really do like the cover of this album with his face halfway like burn off or exploding or whatever, but pretty, pretty good album. Um, this one is actually the clean version of Recovery. Uh, you know, it's the clean version, so I won't talk about that. Um, Curtis, still got fucking got this at uh, half price books and half price books really needs to fucking pay attention to where how they how hard they put on their stickers because this one didn't fucking want to come off so but yeah not 50 cents best album but still a few good tracks on it um slaughterhouse welcome to our house deluxe edition really good slaughterhouse album um ed sheeran Plus, uh, this is the only non-rap album I reviewed on my channel. Um, everything else has ma mainly been rap, um, but this one was actually a pretty decent album. I have not listened to his uh, album X yet, but have listened to a couple of songs, but not a big fan of his, but there's still a few songs I like from him. Um, D12, Devil's Night, amazing rap album. Really fucked up lyrics, especially from Bizarre, but that's what you expect from D12. Love this album. Um, Marilyn Manson, as we forget, the best of. Um, yeah, it's basically his best stuff albums. Um, I do have one more uh, album from him that I bought on iTunes called uh, Antichrist Superstar. So, just these two, just they're yeah. There's one more I'll talk about that I have from him, but I'll probably get to that at the end. Um, Ozzy Osbourne, The Essential, which is basically his like greatest hits album, uh, like songs, two discs. You know, pretty pretty good good album, really good songs on here like Mama I'm Coming Home and um, what was it Crazy Train Dreamer? I just want you, no more tears, bark at the moon. Uh, you know, almost Diary of a Madman. No really good songs on here. Not a big fan of Ozzy, but I, but still like listening to his music. Um, MMLP2 or Marshall Mathers LP2. A uh, really good album. Um, yeah. This is the deluxe edition, which has the regular disc and the deluxe edition. Love the Kinkniff skit at the end, end of uh, Wicked Ways. <laughs> Pretty amazing album. Let me just move these here. Just got a few more. Marilyn Manson, Born Villain. Yes, I, this is how much I like Marilyn Manson. But yeah, it, this is what I'm saying. Like I really do like albums like, that are just like fold out like this. You know, I don't know why. Barely own any, any kind of albums that fold out like this, piece, except for like Born Villain, Martian Mathers LP2 and um, Oh, what was it? Uh, uh, special effects. Shit, I'm sorry. I'm, it's a four in the morning, but. Eight Mile soundtrack. 
amazing soundtrack to an amazing movie one of my all-time favorites so yeah that's the eight mile soundtrack Eminem current and call so you see that they these have like scratches on them but this was like one of the first Eminem albums I've ever bought so it's pretty beat up but just the front you know uh, other than that it's in pretty good shape classic album Dr. Dre the Chronic um, of course have the I bought the Chronic 2001 on iTunes so yeah amazing album classic too Joe Biden, No Love Lost. Um, I was actually interested in listening to his music, but this really didn't do much for me. Um, I mean, as I sort of thought this was a pretty decent album. I actually complete. I haven't went back to. I have not went back to that album review that I did for this in a long fucking time. So I don't exactly remember what I said for it. But really listening to some of these songs, not you know he he's a. Uh, one of the group members of Slaughterhouse, so uh, I thought I'd give him Strangulation. Um, yeah, pretty amazing one. I know he's releasing a new one called um, Strangulation Part Two. Can't wait. Uh, can't wait to hear like the first few singles off of it. Um, it actually did say on his on uh, Tech Nine's discography page, uh, "Strangulation 2, So can't wait for that. Um, Yellow Wolf, Radioactive. You may have noticed I do not have um, a hard copy of Trunk Music 060. That's because first off, I bought it on iTunes a few years back, a couple years back, um, like four years ago, I believe. Um, right before like a month before radioactive came out but they're kind of hard to come by the copies i've seen them in best buy a couple times but they were like 13 bucks or like 12 or somewhere between 10 and 12.99 uh, so never really got a, a chance to pick up the hard copy but of trunk music 060 but yeah one of these days i will so yeah, that's radioactive the deluxe edition um last one i have here marilyn manson eat me drink me it's uh, this one's actually one of my all-time favorite Marilyn Manson albums uh, because it fo he f focuses more like on uh, getting heartbroken and shit um, You know like songs like uh, Heart Shaped Glasses, if I Was a Vampire what was the uh, other one? Um, putting Holes in Happiness, you know shit like that I'm, I'm actually this is one of the Marilyn Manson albums. I'm actually planning on reviewing uh, if I actually do get a chance, but I don't know. I'll see if I get a chance because I love this album. It's like one of my all-time favorite Marilyn Manson songs. Or not songs, but albums. So yeah, this is basically my entire CD collection. Most of it's rap. Um, I still have like a little bit of alternative and metal in here, but it's like, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's yeah my entire collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm hope hopefully i'll be able to buy more cds but i'm not really planning on it mainly buying a lot of my stuff on itunes now so yeah so yeah that's my entire cd collection and i'll see you guys later